Hi YouTube friends, this is Sho and I am here with Mary Ellen. I'm shifting gears here for a second and this is either Peyton or Paisley and I think it's Peyton. Yeah, um, she has the really long, super long hair here. Um, as you can tell, comes all the way down to her, almost her feet, her ankles. Um, she's an Our Generation girl. Remember, she was one of the rescue dolls. I got her for like $4, and her hair was in perfect condition. Um, anyway, she's in a Build-A-Bear outfit, which is really cute, and little boots <laughs> that I had. And then, of course, Mary Ellen is in the Bitty Baby twin um, pajamas. Ah, oh, they're so adorable. I got a second pair. I was so excited um, because I have more than one Bitty Baby Twin. I should have bought two, but I had enough for one extra. They were $17. They were $14 online, but then you had to pay shipping. And luckily we have a store here. So I got an extra pair for for $17. They come with these funny little shoes, but they're like supposed to be slippers. And they it fits her well. But then I made this little hat. And I'm going to show you how I made this. Um, this is actually, you're going to laugh. <laughs> it's a lampshade. See? <laughs> I left the inside intact. Um, and all I did was carefully, it took a lot, because I had to paint, I had to put a lot of, um, oh, my battery's not going dead here. I had to put a lot of, um, coats of black on this, because it was a weird color. It was like gold trim around the bottom and the top, but it wasn't the right gold that I wanted. And then it had this blue strip in the middle. And then I took a, um, you know those little cups of, um, of like, um, Oreos and, um, that you get at Walmart and Netter Butters? Well, the little mini cookies that are about this big. Well, I love those. They're like a dollar. Um, I took the lid, I cut it to size, and I painted the top of that, and then I glued it on. And then, but before I did that, I cut a little hole, a little X, in the top of it, and I placed this in between, as you can tell, kind of there, in between the top here, and glued it, hot glued it in. See that? I hope you can see that. Um, and then I spread the the top of this apart the where, where it would go over the light bulb but it doesn't come near her head really and if it does it's spread apart so it's not going to bother her head and then I just glued the um, I made it big enough and I, I glued this uh, ribbon on and I don't even have to undo the ribbon because all I do is just slip it over her head like that Except I think it's on backwards. <laughs> Sorry. I slip it over her head like that. And, yep, there we go. Oh, nope, that is backwards. Oh, that's backwards. See? I didn't finish it on the back. So, um, And then I just took a, some pipe cleaners and I made the design that I wanted that I liked. It kind of, what I did is I took the nutcracker that came with this outfit and I saw how, what kind of a design he had on his hat. And I followed that kind of, and that's kind of what I what I did. And I just um, I just stuck the the um, them together, and you can see they still move, but they're hot glued on there. They're not going to go anywhere. So anyway, that's how I made the hat. Okay. So if you want me to show you more of this hat, how I made it, I'll be glad to do that. The hat, the um, the the lampshade was, it's really tall, but it was like 99 cents and it was half off, so I got it for 50 cents. Okay, so anyway, that's not what I'm here for. What I'm here for is to show you these really cool clothes that I got from a seller, an eBay seller. But 
I had to wash them because they had a little bit of a distinct smell to them and I'm because I've been sick my smeller is really keen so I went ahead and washed them however when I did that I realized that everything came these were all glittered up and when they came out of the wash everything had glitter on it and I didn't want to throw these into the dryer because I, I'm real careful about how I wash my doll clothes. So I'm going to have to throw them in the dryer eventually just on air fluff to get some of the glitter off because I can see glitter on everything. But <clears throat> anyway, these were three together and they were one price and I thought how cute for like a dance studio or underneath one of these. So there, this was three and it was one price. Okay, and then she had four dresses for another price, and I thought that was a good deal. So there's one of the dresses. It looks very homespun -y. I like it. Um, this was the second, this is another dress, um, but I'll show it to you anyway. I, I bought this one separate because I love gingham, I love checkers, and I love polka dots. They're just so cute. And they Velcro up the back, and they're lined, and they're really cute dresses, very cute. This one came with this set. There were four dresses, and this one came with it. But I paired it with, I got three pairs of little leggings, and this is what I paired it with. So the leggings were separate. Okay, mm, these smell so good. Oh, Okay, and then this was another dress that came with it and it reminded me of before I even got her of Leah's uh, Leah Clark's dress because of like the tribal type of Mayan print basically and there's Leah over there now of course it isn't because it's more pinky and hers is more yellowy and brighter color but it certainly could go along with her collection I think definitely and I'm pairing it with a purple but I could just as easily pair it with yellow and that would make it more Mayan-y looking very cute and it'd be something that she would wear but she also had the the butterflies so it could go with the with the purple just as well or the pink and then here's something super cute who doesn't like a cute pair of pumps or shoes we all like those so this was really super cute and I paired it with these this raspberry pair of leggings and that's for somebody totally different I don't know probably I would think this would go really cute on Grace or Sage well maybe not Sage but Grace because Grace is girly girl. This is really cute and this is why I have Mary Ellen here because I got this set specifically for Mary Ellen because I thought it looked... I don't have very many clothes for Mary Ellen um, and I thought this was cute for her. And the prices were really reasonable and I like them. Boy this is Tide. I never use Tide but boy this smells really nice. Okay so I'm going to put these on these girls and let's take a look at them. Okay? So stay tuned. Alrighty? Alright. So I'll give you the name to the seller as well. Okay? Thanks.